Hey Miles, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Mother's Day. Yeah, you know we just had Mother's Day, and you may even miss your own mom. I don't really know, you know, if dogs, they probably miss their moms too. But you know, I lost my mom about 19 years ago. It, when my son was five months old and my daughter was four. So although I wasn't young, I was about 30, 31. It was still really hard. I was one of those people who never thought I could live without my mom. And I remember when I found out she was going to die, she had cancer, and the doctor had told us, and, you know, she was getting really sick. I remember thinking, I know she's going to die. And yet, when she actually died, I remember being shocked. And I kept saying out loud in my car, driving one day, I can't believe my mom died. And then I'd say, but you knew she was going to die. And I'd say, well, I knew in my head, but I didn't know in my heart. And I can't believe I'm going to live without my mom. And it is amazing to me, I have to say, that it is 19 years later and that I'm still here without my mom because I'm amazed at that. Um, and I give myself a lot of credit for that because it's hard. And as my kids get older, they don't have her as a grandma. And I really know they would have loved her and she would have loved my kids. So be aware of that as Father's Day approaches now and we just had Mother's Day. That there's holidays that are not always happy for people. I know lots of people have lost a child. And whether it was their only child or they had another they have another child, Mother's Day now is very, very hard for them. Or they recently lost a parent. Also, sometimes people have a parent alive, but they're not well or they're not the parent they wish that their parent had been to them. And that can also create a lot of feelings. So I think around Mother's Day and Father's Day, although Hallmark puts so much energy on these holidays and you hear all these commercials on the radio, which can be very difficult at times, especially when that reminder is painful, I think it's really, really important to take extra good care of yourselves. Be kind to your friends who are going through a tough time. Tell your own friends what you need. And if you don't want to be reminded of it, maybe on that day, do something different. Go to the beach. You know, take that day and do something else. Or do something that reminds you of the person that's no longer here. That also is helpful sometimes. Having the person's favorite meal, sharing memories about the person can be nice as well. One thing that I do is my mom has one relative left that I know of that was her first cousin. And I go down to Tom's River. I just went down yesterday and I spend time with her cousin Jean. And I talk to her and we laugh and we pull out scrapbooks and talk about when my mom was young. And that really helps me to feel connected to my mom. So things like that can help as well. So just know that you're not the only one if you've had a tough Mother's Day or you're anticipating a tough Father's Day. That you're not the only one and it's hard and it does get better. For me, it's been almost 19 years, and it's much less difficult for me on Mother's Day. Now I remember all the wonderful memories and things, so it's really a much more pleasant day. So take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Thanks.